everyone, welcome to a brand new video. Thank you so much for watching. I am sharing my thrifted china cabinet makeover or upgrade. If you are looking for any sort of upcycled furniture inspiration as well as painting tips and tricks to ensure a durable finish and even a little bit of decor inspiration, then this video is for you. All right, here is a look at my china cabinet or hutch. I've had this over a year now. It was second hand. I got it from Facebook Marketplace. I know I paid under a hundred for it, I think. When I first got it, I did make a video about it, about how I decorated it, and I asked everyone if I should paint it. I was highly considering painting it, and everyone was like, no, don't paint it. And I'm pretty glad that I didn't. I am starting to get a new appreciation for really nice wood furniture, but what I did decide I want to do is paint the inside of it because it is so dark. So we're gonna give the inside a nice little coat of paint. I already can foresee it's gonna be a little tricky with the glass and trying to get the edges around it without getting the glass, so I'm gonna have to be really careful with that. But otherwise, I think it's gonna be a relatively easy, quick job. I went and picked up some paint yesterday. I could definitely just use some paint that I already have on hand, but I really wanted to make sure I get a good durable finish since I'm gonna be switching out decor in here all the time. Like, I just don't want the finish to like scrape, chip off, so I decided to invest in the right paint. Yesterday I went and picked up a quart of some Benjamin Moore Advance. If you are a regular to my channel, you know I absolutely love this paint and I always recommend it if you need a durable finish. I used it on my kitchen cabinets in my old house and I also used it to paint my metal exterior doors. The finish on this paint is just second to none. It is a water-based paint, but it acts like an oil in that it has like those self-leveling properties. And I it just, it's such a good paint. So I got uh, White Dove, which is like Benjamin Moore's most popular white color. So it's not pure white, it's gonna have that little bit of a like creamy element to it, which is what I wanted. So we're gonna get started and take all the stuff out of here and get ready to start painting. All right, and getting started, sometimes I do line my paint trays with tin foil, just makes for easier cleanup. I'm giving my paint just a light mixing since I just got it, so it's pretty well mixed already. And I am going to start off my first coat using this little hand sponge roller. I like these little baby rollers because you can move really quick and get some good coverage in a short amount of time. So I'm just going through and rolling the flat surface parts of the inside of the cabinet. Dry time between coats for this Benjamin Moore Advanced Paint is a little bit longer. Rather than just waiting till it dries to the touch, you want to wait a few hours. That's recommended on the directions, so that's what I did. Now I have my all-time favorite hand paintbrush and I am going back in and getting all the nooks and crannies and the different corners and edges. One of the th other things I love about this paint is you don't have to work super fast to avoid brush strokes. Since it does take a longer time to dry, it settles more so you don't see those brush strokes and if you like keep going over a spot, it's not gonna get all tacky. So I got pretty good coverage with the first coat. I think I ended up doing two, two and a half coats total. That half one just being like, just spot brushing up anywhere that still looked a little bit of transparent where you could see the wood coming through and getting some of those spaces behind the glass. I just was really careful. And then I also used like a small craft paintbrush to help get some of those small detail edges. Thank you. 
All right, it has been a few weeks since I painted the inside here. I had finished painting it before Christmas. I went home for Christmas for about a week. I left it alone and now it is after Christmas so I am going to do some just regular neutral decor in here. Now with this paint, this Benjamin Moore Advance as well as pretty much any other paint, I can't recommend enough letting it cure. Leave it alone for a minimum of a week and you will see a difference if you've ever painted something and then put your knickknacks or whatever on it and it sticks. Leave like little divots in the paint. It's because you didn't let the paint cure. So since this has literally been left alone for probably actually a week, oh, closer to two weeks now, it should be hardened very nicely. I did have the painter's tape up here to keep my cats from jumping up here and I just left the door open while I was away to make sure it had nice airflow and like I said, to really cure that paint. So I am really happy with how this looks. I think it breathed some new life into the piece and it just feels so much lighter and brighter and I think all my little tchotchkes inside will just look even prettier now. So let's decorate the china cabinet. I pulled out just a random assortment of decor that I want to use in here and just set it out on my kitchen table so I have everything in front of me. I started with a bunch of my blue and white plates in the back. My decorating process is basically just starting to throw things in there and constantly move things around till I visually find something that works. I was definitely going for a monotone blue and white aesthetic as you can see but then I ended up putting these pink faux tulips in this little white pot and I love the pop of color that it brought in and then when I was done with the inside I added a few decor elements to the top I gave it a good dusting up there first all right so I have finished decorating the china cabinet I'm definitely loving the white pop on the inside. I think it just breathes new life into it. As you can see, my style for in here is very granny chic or grand millennial, as it is formally called. All of my pieces in here are either thrifted or secondhand. I don't think anything I bought new. Some of these plates that I stacked at the bottom are ones that I'm meaning to get hung up on the wall in my kitchen, but just haven't got around to it yet. But otherwise, it is, uh, you know, very chinoiserie blue and white. And I love the pop of pink with the tulips. Blue and pink are definitely my favorite colors. And then up top, I tied the pink back in with this kind of Asian bird picture. And then I just have a couple of topiaries and this little kitty cat, my house cookie jar. And then the smaller one is in there too. Those are kind of more modern pieces, which I think kind of just make this setup a little bit more eclectic. But that's that's definitely my style. I would call my style eclectic traditional maybe. But I even noticed, like I could tell, the fact that I waited so long to let the paint cure when I was switching everything around in here, I could tell a big difference. I've definitely done projects where I didn't use high quality paint and I didn't wait for it to cure. And when you're moving all your trinkets around, they get stuck onto the paint. And some of it will even start to chip off or get scratched. And I could tell when I was switching all the things around, like this is a good, durable paint finish. So I can't recommend that Benjamin Moore paint enough for furniture. And then I'm excited because I just got some artwork printed out and one of them is a piece that I'm going to frame and hang over here. I'm gonna get a nice pretty round bar cart for this corner. So I think that'll just like tie into the space really nicely. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it through to the end of the video, I truly appreciate it. I hope I was able to give you some good information or inspire you for your own furniture projects. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed for more DIY home content just like this.